Hello everyone, um, so today I want to talk through my July favourites. I cannot believe it's August already, um, July just seems to have whizzed by um, and I have no idea where the year's gone. Um, it's going to be Christmas soon and that's a really scary thing to think about. Um, so today I'm going to talk about um, a few different things I've really enjoyed using throughout July. Some things that have been sort of really, really useful for me um, as well. So the first item I want to show you is this um, Soap and Glory um, breakfast scrub. And this I got maybe two, two, two or three weeks ago. Um, and I use it every time I get in the shower pretty much well not every time maybe two to three times a week um, and it's just it's maple syrup flavor and it's just so delicious like I feel like I can eat it and obviously you can't but you come out of the, of the shower and you just feel amazing and you just sort of put it on your skin in circular motions um, and it sort of goes a little bit foamy but not like loads um, and then and it's not harsh on your skin and it's just really 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 soothing and then you wash it off and your skin feels amazing I can't explain to you how amazing it feels um, so if you haven't tried this one then I would definitely give it give it a go um, they also do lots of different flavor scrubs um, if you're not into the super super sweet like I am um, then there will be something for you within the range but I just, oh, I wish I could send a smell through the camera to you because it just smells incredible. Going on from there, this one is sort of, I got this one with that product um, and it was actually free. Um, I bought a shower gel and the body scrub and if you spent more than say, I think it was £10 um, from Sigma Glory, you got this free and that is the, um, what's it called, the Righteous the Righteous Butter with Softening Sheer Butter and Aloe Vera and this is from also Sun Soap and Glory and this is just, it's just you know a moisturising body cream and it sort of just has that creamy sort of smell, it doesn't have, I suppose it's quite sweet but I really really love the smell and I've used a lot of this, um, I'm not sure if you can see um, but um, it's just after I've been in the shower I pop this on as well and yeah my skin is I mean it looks great because I've been scrubbing as well sort of exfoliating um, but it's even softer I just I can't even explain how soft my skin is right now it's baby soft like incredibly good um, so I've been really happy with that too I can't believe I've got it free and I think the offer is still on in boots um, so if you pop down there and you need some more like body wash and stuff um, you know you can stock up on that and get one of these free and these on their own are normally I think £10 which I don't think is too terrible because you get quite a big tub but if you can get one for free then why not my next item is something that um, I've wanted to get for a long time because I do a lot of makeup on other people but not really like I never really concentrate on myself so in July I got myself some new makeup brushes just for myself um, so these ones that I just use on myself and they are, let me get them out, there we go. I've got a lot, I've got two sets, I've got a face set and an eye set. Um, I think each set is £56, which isn't bad because of the fact that you get quite a few brushes within each set. So here they are. Ooh. I mean, I've got so many, sorry about this one, I've just used it to do my makeup. That is, you mean, you get so many brushes and they have been incredible and I just love the detailing on them um, you know these are the luxury Zoeva sort of rose gold ones so they're not black they're sort of cream with the rose gold detailing and I just think they're so pretty and they're so soft and really 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 good to use I absolutely love this buffing brush that you can get with the face ones it just buffs everything in really really well so that one's a really good one. Another plus is that they come in these little bags. So this one was with the eye set. So I put all my brushes in this one because they just fit in perfectly. 
in the one. Um, so this one came with the eye set, so you can just keep them in there. And then the face set actually came in a bigger bag. Um, so I've actually got my makeup in here now um, as well. So I've got the two together and they're just, you know, I think really, really pretty um, rose gold detailing. And I love rose gold and I think many people do. Um, so if you're into that sort of thing, then I definitely would give these a go. So I've been really happy with them. My next item is something that um, I've never thought of using before, to be honest. Um, it, I just got really frustrated because when I put nail varnish on, like normal nail varnish, um, I don't know if it's just my nails, sometimes people have different oils on their nails um, and stuff like that, so I don't know if it was that for me, but as soon as I put them on, like the nail varnish, I'd sit there for like an hour to make sure it was dry, and then I'd get up and start, you know, go on with my day, and literally within 10 minutes they would chip, and it used to drive me crazy because I love painting my nails but I just I got to a stage where I was like what's the point when it's just going to chip within like 10 minutes of me doing them so I went and got myself this was from Amazon and it was literally 12 99 so and this is the professional nail dryer and it's for it's for gel nails um, <coughs> excuse me um, so if if you ever go and get yourself go to the sort of salon and get your nails done with gel. You can actually do them at home on your own. Um, and this is only 12 99 And you get your, um, and it has literally worked incredibly. So these are my nails at the moment. And um, I did these on Friday. So that's nearly four days ago, sort of three to four days ago. And they haven't chipped yet. So that is so exciting. And the nail varnish I've been using with them is the Blue Sky Gel Polish Colour, which I also got on Amazon. I think they were five pounds each. Um, and this is sort of a really sort of nice lime sort of green um, that I've got on my nails at the moment. Um, they don't actually have colour names, which is a bit annoying, but it just says A47. Um, but if you are the same as me and you literally can't wear nail varnish because it peels off, I'd really suggest getting yourself one of these because, you know, it's, it's amazing and it stays on. What more can I say? This is incredible. I'm very, very happy with them. The next item I want to show you are something, uh, is an item of clothing. And this is um, something I got from Topshop. I have been loving wearing them and they're just so, so super cute. Um, I'm just trying to sort them out. Second. So they're just so, so super cute, and they are these dungarees. And I love the fact they've got these little old fashioned clips on the side, on the, um, on the front that you undo to sort of do them up. And I got these in the petite section because I'm quite small, and they just fit me perfectly. And the lovely flower detailing and they're super comfy and it's so easy just to throw on like a t-shirt with them and you're off with the day and they're quite light so even if it's like a warm summer's day you can still wear them and I just think that they are stunning really really love wearing theirs from Topshop my next product is also um, a fashion item and these are these oh bit of dirt on them these shoes that I got from Topshop as well and these are super comfy um, I was wearing some that I got from ASOS for such a long time and they had holes in the bottom so it was time to get a new pair and I went into Topshop and I find it really hard to buy shoes because I've got tiny feet um, so I'm in between like a two and a three like a three is normally too big for me um, and I went into Topshop and these are a size two I couldn't believe it I was like oh my god you have a size two because hardly any shops do size two, which oh, so an itch. Which I really hope that they start changing because I think there's a lot of people out there. I don't know if anyone else out there feels the same as me, but <coughs> some people have small feet, and there's not really many shops that sort of um, make shoes for that. Um, so I was really happy to find them. I know that there's only like a few pairs of shoes in Topshop that are done in a size two but at least there's some sort of option for people with small feet and these are really good and they've been really really comfy I mean I've been I did get a blister wearing them to begin with but I think that's 
I always do with new shoes so I'm not really too fussed about that. I think that as soon as they've been worn through then that then that is um that'll be fine. I don't think it will be a problem at all. Um, so yeah, go and check out Topshop if you have small feet because they do size too. My next item is some food and I've really 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 been enjoying eating um, this butter kissed salted microwave popcorn and I've been eating this like watching films and stuff and it's super 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 yummy and really easy to make, pop it in the microwave for a minute, take it out, shake it up, put it back in a minute, put it back in for a minute and then it's done. You can enjoy your popcorn and it's fantastic. I know it's not the best for you because it's probably got a lot of salt in it but popcorn isn't the worst snack to have um, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, if you haven't tried it, give it a go. So my final thing um, that I have really enjoyed in July is, um, well, it was just one evening and it was this Friday, me and Andrew went to Secret Cinema and it was a Star Wars themed. Now I don't really like Star Wars, it's not something that I'm a big fan of or anything, but Andrew really likes it so we decided to go. Um, and we didn't really know what to expect, but it was absolutely incredible. If you've never been to a secret cinema, they think they do them once a year, like a different film each year, um, for like a three month period. Um, and it was insane. I couldn't believe it. Like you dress up, so um, you get like a character and you then you sort of have to dress up and it. You do have to, because otherwise you'd feel a bit stupid, I think, if you didn't dress up. And you go in and it's all sort of done up sort of Star wars -y. and I'm not going to spoil it for anyone because if anyone's going you probably don't want to know um, but basically it's really really well setted like you actually feel like you're sort of you know on a planet um, with all these aliens and stuff like that and then there's lots of things to do and you have to go and sort of um, go and barter with people to try and get like, um, like different stuff so you can get onto different ships so you can get to different locations and it's really, really incredible. Um, I was super, super impressed. Um, it literally took the whole event, um, before, cause you obviously watch a film um, at the end as well, but to get to the film takes like two and a half hours of just, you know, having fun. After the two and a half hours, you actually sit down and watch a film um, and it's really, really good. So I really would suggest anyone who was into that sort of thing to go to Secret Cinema because it was so much fun. So that was all of my July favourites for you. Um, not too much uh, makeup on there so I'm really sorry about that. Um, and about, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I'll see you all again soon. See you later!